Constructivism. This is a theory that emphasizes the active role of learners in constructing their own understanding and knowledge through experiences and interactions with the world around them. Learners build new knowledge upon the foundation of their prior knowledge and experiences. This theory suggests that learning is an individualized process where each learner constructs meaning differently based on their unique backgrounds and perspectives. Sociocultural theory. This theory developed by Lev Vygotsky focuses on the importance of social and cultural context in shaping learning. It suggests that cognitive development is influenced by social interactions, cultural tools, and the guidance of more knowledgeable others. Learning is seen as a collaborative process that occurs through activities, conversations, and shared experiences within a specific cultural context. Behaviorism. This is a theory that emphasizes the study of observable behaviors and their consequences. It suggests that learning occurs through the reinforcement of desired behaviors and the punishment or extinction of undesired behaviors. Behaviorists believe that learning is a process of forming associations between stimuli and responses, and that behavior can be shaped through reinforcement and conditioning. Bloom's domains of learning. This is a framework that categorizes different levels of learning into three domains, cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. This theory provides a hierarchical structure for classifying learning objectives ranging from simple recall of facts to more complex levels of analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Critical theory. This is a philosophical approach that emphasizes the examination of power structures, social inequalities, and the ways in which knowledge is shaped by cultural, political, and economic factors. In education, critical theory encourages learners to question assumptions, challenge dominant narratives, and develop critical consciousness about societal issues and their own positionality. Psychosocial theory. This theory, developed by Eric Erickson, focuses on the psychosocial development of individuals across their lifespan. It suggests that individuals go through eight stages of development, each characterized by a specific psychosocial crisis or challenge. This theory emphasizes the interplay between personal and social factors in shaping an individual's identity and psychological well being. Humanism. This is a theory that emphasizes the inherent potential and unique qualities of each individual learner. It suggests that learning should be student centered focusing on the whole person and their personal growth and self-actualization. Humanists believe that learners have an innate desire to learn and that education should nurture their intrinsic motivations and support their personal development. Adult learning theory, also known as andragogy, this is a framework for understanding the unique characteristics and needs of adult learners. It suggests that adults are self-directed, bring a wealth of life experiences to the learning process, and are motivated by internal factors such as personal growth and problem solving. Adult learning emphasizes the importance of relevance, autonomy, and practical applications. Self-determination theory. This theory focuses on the intrinsic and extrinsic factors that motivate individuals to engage in learning and other activities. It suggests that individuals have three innate psychological needs. Autonomy, the desire to control one's own behavior. Competence, the desire to master skills and achieve goals. And relatedness, the desire to feel connected to others. Fulfilling these needs can enhance intrinsic motivation, and foster overall well-being. Multiple intelligences theory. This theory, developed by Howard Gardner, challenges the traditional notion of a single unified intelligence. It proposes that individuals possess a range of intelligences, including linguistic, logical, mathematical, spatial, bodily kinesthetic, musical, interpersonal, intrapersonal, and naturalistic. This theory suggests that learners have different strengths and preferences, and that education should cater to these diverse learning styles and intelligences. Kolb's experiential theory. This theory emphasizes the importance of experience in the learning process. It suggests that learning occurs through a cycle of concrete experience, reflective observation, abstract conceptualization, and active experimentation. Kolb's theory encourages learners to engage in hands-on experiences, reflect on those experiences, develop conceptual understanding, and apply their newfound knowledge to new situations. Dreiker's classroom management theory. This theory focuses on creating a positive and democratic learning environment by fostering a sense of belonging, encouraging cooperation, and promoting self-discipline among students. This theory emphasizes the importance of mutual respect, clear boundaries, and logical consequences in managing classroom behavior and promoting student engagement and responsibility. If you're a university student, I recommend reading the article I've left in the pinned comment, which could help you with your studies, or writing an essay on this topic. You might also want to check out the videos on screen now that explore related concepts in education.